Okay, alright, we are back for some more No One But You. Alright, this is actually uh, one of the few times where I actually go for multiple endings. Now, this will be the good ending for Megumi here. Alright, last time, um, for the last recording, I chose to run away. So, this time we'll do turning yourself in. And I've already checked and did a little, you know, quick clickety clickety click through everything. And yes, it is the good ending. That's why I'm doing this, because it's not going to take a long time or any of that stuff. You know, usually, uh, it, it, you know, some of these games require, for multiple endings, it requires, uh, you know, to actually do many choices throughout the, uh, the game. This one's actually basically the last choice in the game, and it splits for good and bad for her. And um, I'm assuming the previous choices or decisions that we've made uh, is, this, is what girl we'll basically end up with. So, we're going to be doing that. Now, if you guys have not checked out... Um, what happened before the ending here, um, I, I would say check out the, the previous video. Uh, and you can end off, uh, um, I'll actually have a link uh, s uh, for that you can check up on the top here of the screen. It'll bring you right to there. And as well as a link in the description where you can go, out, you can go and check it out yourself. Um, yes, so let's start this and see what this the goods part happens here. We're gonna turn ourselves in. That was what this ends up. It's a good ending. That's all you gotta know. This is a good ending. You should turn yourself in. You, you want me to turn myself in? But then I. You said so yourself, right? Murderers need to be punished. And how they are punished is not your decision to make. Those are your words, Megumi. Now, are you going to stick by them? Megumi looked towards the corpse at her feet once more, silenced by my words. Although she kept holding onto the knife in her hand, her grip loosened and she no longer showed any inclination to actually use it. If I myself in, then you'll be arrested. You'll face court. You'll be sentenced. In my opinion, in the case that she is at the moment, her sentence, she should be let off decently. I Because I think, you know, if, if the court battle went in the correct way that it probably should, um, she would be found, you know, she yes, she killed him, but she would be found, you know, as it was defense. It was self-defense. Because there would be... There more or less should be a history with them that, um, if, if you know, they he was sentenced before and then everything, there should be some records of, you know, his previous crime out there that he's done something and that it was her sister that it was done to and that this would happen here. It would kind of be a... Uh, pretty good indication, you know, he can't defend himself, but that would be a good indication of freeing her because there's a bad, a bad relationship there because something, a past. Th that's if, you know, what Megumi said was true. I have no idea how these things would actually turn out in this type of situation. Let's continue and see what her result is. You'll pay for your crime in a matter determined by the law. I'll do it. I'll turn myself in. A smile returned to Megumi's face as she made up her mind. Although it wasn't an outcome either one of us wanted, we both knew that it was the only way out. Even if Megumi thinks she deserves to die, I'm certain that the court will find her in favor. I'm thinking the same thing, man. I think it's going. It's you know this. Of course, could be in hearing because she did kill someone, but she's gonna have to found innocent or whatever because of self-defense or whatever. Hopefully, that's what I hope. Because it, it would suck if she had to, uh, you know, be locked up because she was defending herself. Megumi's sister was killed by that man, and she suffered immeasurable psychological damage at her hands. Add to that the fact that Megumi was defending herself from an intruder in her own home. 
There's no way she'll be convicted. As I optimistically thought about how Megumi's life would turn out, she took a step forward. Hideaki? One last thing. Stepping over Mr. Katsuna's corpse, Megumi took another step forward, now standing stationary a few feet in front of me. Before I call the police, I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> okay, the body's already been there for a while already, apparently. Okay, go take a shower. <laughs> she wants to clean up before she gets uh, arrested. I'm assuming that, you know, she has blood on her and stuff like that. It, it only makes sense. Of course, on the picture, we're not seeing anything, but I would assume that she probably got blood on her other than the knife there. Although unexpected, Megumi's words made sense to me. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll just close the door and... Join me. Wow! Join you, okay. Um, I do want I do want to go through this at least once and check out some of the. Apparently, the, there is a patch for uh, um some adult uh, stuff. But for some reason, I heard that it was also censored, pixelated um mosaic for whatever reason. For for Western main game, it didn't make any sense. Some mosaics. It's like um I would understand you know if it was released in Japan and stuff like that, but. I, I don't know where the uh, developer is stationed. If they have laws in their area about such things, but I don't think you need to do mostly acts if you live in the United States. <laughs> For the little type of things, it's like, yeah. I wonder what would, if this would be like a nude scene right here, them taking a shower together. <laughs> Join you, Megumi. I'm relieved that you can joke at a time like this, but I don't think she's joking. I'm not joking, and I'm not taking no for an answer. If this is to be my last night of freedom, then I don't want to have any regrets. Come with me, Hideaki, and let us become one at last. Alright, that sounds cheesy as fuck. Let us become one at last. I'm sorry. That sounds... Uh, I think they could have came up with a better wording for that. It just sounds cheesy as hell. It's like, let's let's become one at last. <laughs> Without even thinking, I grabbed Megumi's hand that was covered in blood. I didn't say anything. I couldn't even if I wanted to. Alright, now I know there, after this credits there is more. That kind of abruptly ended there, though. I will say that. Kind of just like, I took her hand and... Ah, there's that terrible scene. Nah, I actually enjoyed this one. Bro, Megumi end. Now there's an after part. That's what we're going into. Over the many months since Megumi killed Mr. Katsuno, my life has taken a series of unexpected turns. Right by her side as Megumi called the police, I was taken to the police station as a witness to her crime and consequently asked to give a statement and corroborate uh, Megumi's story. We were separated for a while, but Megumi spending her nights behind bars as a suspected killer and me being sent to counseling because of what I have seen. A whole month went by before we even saw one another again, and then I was only passing as I showed up to court. Megumi's trial began soon enough, but the actual proceedings took several months. Despite being an open and shut case, with both a witness and a confession, the jury remained divided on what her punishment should be. Megumi told the court how he had broken into her own house and how she was just defending herself. She knew he was a killer, given what had happened to her sister, and wasn't going to take any chances. But the prosecution claimed it was an opportunistic killing. They claimed that she knew ahead of time that he would be visiting and she abused this visit to take revenge. How did they get to that conclusion that they knew that... That she knew he was going to be visiting? Where did the information for that come from? 
I understand the opt the opportunistic killing thing that he broke because he broke in. She took that chance and actually killed him. I mean, if someone killed your sister or someone you knew, and you had the full ability within your rights to att attack them that you felt on your life, wouldn't you do a finishing blow? <laughs> I guess, I don't know, and maybe it would depend on person to person. It's like, I, I might even do, if I did the same thing, if, if I was given the situation. Like, you freaking broke into my house. I wouldn't do it outright, just go out and kill him. But he went and tried to attack me. And yes, I took the chance to do a killing blow instead of just injuring him. But I felt, you know, felt threatened that he was going to kill me. And I have no doubt that she had every right to be threatened because I think he would have killed her. Even, even if they could argue it was op you know, optimistic killing that. I think he would have killed her. I think that's what he came there for. He came there to kill her. That's my opinion. Because I think he said something like he grabbed a rope and other things like that when in the back of his car when he was uh, uh, about to go into her house and break in. Tie her up. What else was he going to do? I don't know if he was going to kill her in the apartment itself, but he was going to probably ab at least abduct her. Who knows what else? Fortunately, although Mr. Katsuna had indeed faked documents ahead of time to explain why he was at Bakumi's apartment in case he was caught, his time of death and security cameras both placed him at the scene very late at night. Oh, so that's... Alright, they gave us information on where they came from that conclusion. Fake documents. Okay. Mr. Katsuna really did try to thought through that and his little plan to do something with her. I don't think he thought he was going to die, though. <laughs> Finally, when I showed the court the video I had taken of Mr. Katsuna harassing Megumi in the student council club room, and there wasn't a single juror remaining who thought she was guilty. Well, that's good you didn't delete the video, and you actually had it. Today, seven months after Megumi was taken into custody, she had finally been found not guilty. Damn! That is a long time! She, she, she had to sit, sit in probably like prison the whole entire time. Uh, all that time. All that time. Of her life wasted away. That's, that's a good amount of time. That's a little over half a year. And wait, 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 six, seven months, I should say. That's you know, six, six months and one month after that, so a half year plus. Damn! She went through all that pain with just him and then now had to go for seven months. At least now, she is free. Would it, would it be awesome if they got married or something? <laughs> Happy ending, marriage. Mikumi will still need to attend counseling and will be forced to regularly report to the local police station to verify her whereabouts. But nonetheless, she is a free woman. Well, for the most part free. I mean, if she's made to go to counseling and visit the police station, that isn't actually free. Because you're not being made choice. It isn't a choice you're being given. You're given an option of doing that and then having all your other rights. Or not doing that and having no rights. <laughs> free for the most part. Actual freedom is when you're not made to do stuff. <laughs> Against your will. It's a compromise, more or less. But I don't think it's a complicated one. She wants to be free. Report. That's a simple one. Yes, tend your counseling. That's not too difficult. So now, on our first day back in society, Mugumi and I will be meeting once again. An event which we were both beginning to think would never happen. At least you waited for her. You weren't some jerk and just went off and found another girl or something. We won't be able to stay together long. 
even after being found not guilty. Megumi still has responsibilities to the court. What the hell? Okay. But for today, just seeing Megumi a free woman will be enough. By the time I had arrived at the cemetery, Megumi was already there. Kneeling on the ground and praying, Megumi was vigilant in front of her older sister's grave. All the places Megumi could have gone to celebrate her freedom. Even if Megumi had decided to stop living in her deceased sister's shadow, I guess Hitomi will always be a part of Megumi, whether she likes it or not. Tomi. Despite the brave face she was initially being we been wearing, Megumi soon showed her true feelings. Discarding the facade of an always energetic, smiling, happy-go-lucky schoolgirl, she let the tears stream down her face without hesitation, allowing her tears to fall freely onto her sister's grave. Megumi. Taking Megumi in my arms, I held her tight. She had the power to put an end to her tears. Although she jumped back slightly at the sudden embrace, Gumi immediately realized who was holding her. She turned to mourning. Hideaki, she. Sister, she. Gumi tried to speak, unable to form full sentences through her tears. She then wiped away the tears and mucus on her face, trying once again to communicate. It was it always been buried here, and yet yeah, I... Until uh, now, I never came to see her. Not once. Uh, wow. Not once. Wow. <laughs> I guess she was afraid to go. I probably didn't want to remember all those... The sadness. But when I was in custody, when I was in court, they were accusing me of killing the man for revenge. I, I realized they were right. My sister, they told me, she never deserved any of this. So kind and gentle, her to fly. But as for me, I. Megumi's tears continued to flow, but her voice remained steady. She had something she wanted to say, and she was going to say it, even if it was through willpower alone. When that man showed up, I killed him. I didn't injure him. I didn't maim him. I didn't warn him. The second I saw his face, I just lost it. Now that he's gone, now that I can face my sister, I can put all of that behind me. Even if they're both gone, I'm still here. We're still here. From now on, till the day I die. As long as I have you beside me, all I'll ever need. And that looks like that's the ending. Ah, uh, I guess we're left up in the air and what actually happened with those two. I guess maybe they got married. Leave it up for us to decide. Alright guys, uh, thank you for watching this. If you have not checked out the other ending, feel free. I will have a link um, in the description box. Of course, you can always check out just the uh, the playlist itself. It should be the, the previous one before this. And that is the video. Hey guys, thank you for watching this. Hopefully you enjoyed both the bad and good ending because I enjoyed it for the most part. I think there was, uh, it could have been a little more fleshed out, the uh, endings. They had a lot of little spaces here and there and abrupt endings. Like the abrupt ending where they're about to go take a shower, I guess. And then it just ended. <laughs> that kind of just happened out of nowhere and just like okay I think they could have approached that a little bit differently oh guys thanks for watching us y'all have a great day